So this is Facebook ad secrets part one. And I don't know how many parts we're going to have, but it's going to be in the double digits because, you know, Facebook is not just jumping in and running an ad. It's not that easy. There's a whole lot more to it. There's a whole lot more things you have to do. And if you don't know what you're doing, you just lose money. And I don't want to see you guys do that. Okay. Because, you know, the cool thing is, you know, the best way to get rich really is to be able to, you know, put a dollar into advertising and get back $2, right? I mean, that's the coolest thing in the world because, you know, you would put all the dollars in that you had if you could do that. So, and you can do that. So we're going to show you how to go about that. Okay. So what do you need to do ads? Okay. Let's look at all the parts and then we're going to break down these parts. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a personal Facebook account. Now, some people believe that, you know, they've got their one account and that's all there is to it. You could have as many personal Facebook accounts as you want. You could start another one and start a whole new page and, you know, just start over clean if you want. I've seen people who will take their Facebook account and you may not know this and they'll build it up to, you know, 5,000 friends, which you can have 5,000 friends and turn it into an actual business page. And all those friends become likes and they start all over again with another personal Facebook account. Now, most people don't want to do that because they've got all their friends and family on there, but it can be done. So that's something you could do. Hey, David from Utah, see you out there. The next thing you're going to need is to create a Facebook business page. Okay, you got to have a business page. And I'm going to walk you through that today and you're going to see how to do all that. The next thing you're going to need is you're going to need to create a Facebook ad account for that particular page. Okay, these, these ad accounts, you, you know, you can have several ad accounts, but you want them associated with your page and your page should be associated with a niche. Now, I know some of you start off with a mixed store and that's fine, but as soon as you get a product selling, you want to break it off and have a different page for that. And the next thing you're going to need to do is select a product and create an ad. So, you know, if you look at this on the surface, heck, there's only four steps. Pretty easy, right? We should be able to knock this out in the next 10 minutes. We would be lucky if we knocked all this out in the next 10 weeks. And, and, and once we get into that, you're going to see why. So the, the first thing we're going to do is create a Facebook personal account. And all you're going to have to do is go to Facebook, enter your information, and you're pretty much good to go. That's a simple thing to do. And I'm going to walk you through that this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever it is, this night, whatever it is. Then you're going to have to put in a profile picture, which is not a problem. You're going to have to set up a cover photo. And technically, technically, you don't have to do either one of those. But I will tell you, if somebody doesn't have a profile picture and they try to friend people, most people just think it's a fake account. So if you don't have a picture on yours, you need to get it on there. And if you don't, you know, have that little back banner on there, you should, you know, cover photo, you should have that too. And the next thing you need to do is just add friends. Real simple, okay? And finding friends is pretty easy. Facebook will actually suggest them to you. You do want to be careful if you're adding them too fast. Facebook's going to look at that and think maybe you're spamming and they're going to have to, you know, they're going to put up a little capture thing. And if you keep doing it, you know, for that day or next few days, they could actually cancel your account. So, you know, don't, don't just go in there and think you can get to 5,000 friends in a week because that's not going to happen. And then the last thing, you want to participate in other people's posts, groups, and pages. You know, a lot of times people say, well, nobody's talking to me. Nobody's doing anything. And I'll say, well, well, are you talking to other people? Are you involved in posts? Are you giving good information about your products, about who you are? Are you, you know, involved in other people's groups? Are you liking other people's pages? You know, you have to participate. You're going to get back pretty much what you put into this. You've got to put a lot into it. You know, you can't just jump on Facebook and run ads and not have all these other things going on. You got to do it. And the last thing on my list here is to post on your own page on a periodic basis. So if you've got a business page, you got to have some information there every now and then. You know, people will like your page to see what you're doing and to get notified. But if you never put anything there, what's the point? You know, it's just a page. It's a picture. They're like, okay, I saw that. And you'll lose a lot of engagement if you don't participate in that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a Facebook business page, okay? Pretty simple to do. We create a page and we put a name to that page. Now that should be associated with whatever niche you're in. And once again, I want to remind you guys, I, I see that we are full, so do not get out. You will miss out on your spot because we have people waiting in the wings to take your spot right now. You're going to miss out on Elon Musk at the very end too, so you don't want to do that. Then you got to select a category and I'm going to walk you through this too, actually on screen. But you know, you got to have a category for that page. It's got to match up. It's got to make sense. Then what you're going to do is you're going to upload your profile and your cover pictures, which you also have to do for your page and your personal profile. And then you're going to fill out the about section with contact information. This is really, really critical. A lot of people just do a page and they don't put any information there and people click on it to find out what you're all about. 
and you're about nothing. There's nothing there. So you got to have that filled out, okay? Do not invite all your friends to like your page. Now, some of you have done this, and if you if you know why you shouldn't do this, put it in the comments section right now. I'm gonna see if you guys really understand what your business page is all about. So just type in the comments section why you should not invite all of your friends. And I'm not saying you shouldn't invite some of them, but it is a definite that you should not invite all of your friends to like your page. And I'll give you guys a second to type those in there. Tina's saying you want, what's she saying? I can't see that much. She says you want organic. And Tina, you are so right. You're going to win a gold star. We will email that over to you. But why do you want organic? Why is that, guys? Somebody type in their reason for that, because I think Tina probably knows. Somebody else says you'll have too many people liking your page. No, that's not the reason. Why wouldn't you want all your friends? Joanne's saying it's not targeted and or not what? Jessica? Qualified. Qualified. Okay, why though? Why does that matter? Linda says, what are you saying there, Linda? Only want people interested in that topic. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. You only want people interested. Only in want people topic. interested, relevant. They don't buy. They may clutter. Okay, here's the real deal. You're trying to sell a product, okay? And Facebook looks at all the people that likes your page and kind of makes a profile of them okay and if you somebody said your friends can be brutal that's true too richard but if you have a bunch of random people in there and facebook tries to make an audience of people that look like your page because we're going to do look-alike audiences down the road here and if you're doing a look-alike audience of people from your page and it's a bunch of random friends and some people like horses and some people are into car racing and other people are real estate agents and none of it makes sense then your ads are going to fail so you do not ever, ever, ever want to invite all your friends to like your page. Now, if you are into equestrian and you have friends who like horses, by all means, yeah, you should invite those folks. That makes sense. If you're into race cars and you have some friends who are into NASCAR, yeah, invite those people. Totally makes sense. But your friends generally do not all like the same thing. So you want to be really cautious there. And... You know, you'll never be able to make a good lookalike audience if you if you invite all your friends. So do not do it. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys do understand some of that. You also have to post on a regular basis. I mentioned this before. If you're not posting, people aren't going to show up, and it's got to be useful information too. It can't just be, hey, look at this funny meme or something like that. That's that's not why people will come to your business page. So if you're posting things just trying to get stuff to go viral, and they're unrelated to what you do. You're just wasting your time. You're totally wasting your time. Please do not do that. Okay, so what you have to do is you got to create a Facebook ad account for your page. And I do want to walk you through all of that. So you're going to create your ad account and you're going to create a pixel. And we're going to talk about what a pixel is too. And you're going to create your ads. And let's, I'm going to just walk you through here. I'm on a screen here and I want to walk you through all these steps real quick. Okay, I'm at Facebook right now, and I'm going to pretend like you don't even have an account. So I'm going to just show you how to set up a Facebook account. Really simple, easy to do. We'll do that uh, John Smith thing, right? Everybody remembers that name. At least they do in the U.S. And we're going to, we have to put in our mobile number or email, so I'm going to put that in there. And then they're going to ask you to re-enter it. So you're going to need to do that. And we're going to put a password in there. Then you're going to have to put your birthday in there. And this is how they identify you. So you want to make sure you put accurate information in here. Or I guess if you want to put inaccurate, make sure you remember what it is because they will ask you this. And then you just hit create account and you will have an account. It's that simple. Now, it says here to continue using Facebook, you're gonna to need to confirm your email. Now, if you had put a phone number in there, it would probably send you a text, but instead they sent me an email. So let me confirm that. And, and the way you can do it here is you can actually just click connect to Gmail and it will log into your Gmail account. And it's gonna ask you if that's the correct one. We're gonna select yes. 
and it is now connected. So we've now got a Facebook account. It's that simple. Okay, so if you've got friends on Facebook, you may want to click here now and select some of those people. I'm going to skip that step, and I'm just going to go to next. I'm going to skip it. Now, the next thing you need to do is upload a picture, okay? So if you don't have any pictures in here, you're going to need to click right here where it says add picture, and then find the location that your picture is at. And you want to get you want to get a really good looking picture of you because a lot of people are going to see this. So I've selected a really nice looking picture. You can see there, and it's going to keep asking you for people that you know. You can take their privacy tour, which is not a bad idea, and it's going to ask you once again if you want to search for friends. So then you can actually click right here, and you can see your page and see what it looks like. Now you're going to want to skip this here for cover. Actually, let's go ahead and put in a cover photo. I'm going to click OK. And if you don't have one, you can always select from their artwork. So I'll just pick this nice little scene right here. And you can drag to position it any way you want, depending on how you want it. Then I'm going to click Save Changes. I've got that beautiful background and that beautiful picture of me right there. Okay, That's not me, by the way. Don't think that. Right? It's just a picture. You can also edit your profile picture by clicking right here. Look at your activity log. Now, this is the only activity I have is this nice pretty picture here. And so, yeah, that's how you set up your page. Okay, so the purpose of this is for us to run ads. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to have a page to run the ads from. So I'm going to click this little arrow down here, and I'm going to click on Create Page. And then what you're going to be asked here is a local business or place, a company or organization, or excuse me, or institution, brand or product, artist, band, public figure, entertainment, cause or community. So I'm going to pick here a company or organization or institution. And then it's going to ask you to select a category. It's going to give you all these different categories right here. So let's find one that'll work. I'm going to say internet company because most of you do have an internet company. And then we're going to put the name of the company. We're going to call it Inter net company right okay and then we're going to click on get started okay and the next thing we can do is we can actually get more page likes they say if we have a cover photo so let's upload that really good looking picture i've got in there real quick there we go so now what we should have is we should have a profile picture and a cover picture in here, which we do. We have both of those in here now. If you want to have a little bit more information for people to choose from, we can select some of these things here, like join your community, download your app, shop with you or make a donation, contact you or book with you. So you can add a page button if you select one of these here. So let's pick one of these. And then it's going to have a little drop down and say contact us. So we could put that in there. Then we click next. And then you're going to have to put in a website link right here. So we're just going to put in, how about google.com? And we will save that. So when they click on this button, instead of really contacting us, it's going to go to Google, but you would put in whatever contact you want to have in there. Then you're going to want to add a short description right here that tells something about your company. And I can put it here. Now, you want to make this a lot more descriptive so that people will want to contact you or get more information or shop with your company. Okay, now off to the left here, you're going to notice this little arrow down says see more. You want to fill out this about here. This is going to be your photos. If you're going to upload videos, it's going to be here. Communities here. If you're going to have groups, they're going to be here. But right now, we're just going to worry about this about button. When your company started, your mission statement, your phone number, you're going to want to put that in here, your email, your website, and you can edit other accounts here. And if you look under about here, you've got awards, products, if you want to put products in here, a menu if you were a restaurant or something like that. And so, yeah. Okay, so they've also got a section over here that says our story. So you could add a file, videos, pictures, whatever that you want to put right in here if you want to do that. If you need to get into your settings, you're going to find that right here at the top, okay? So you click on your settings here, and this is where you're going to go through every section, right? So your messaging, how do you want that handled? 
When you click on messaging here, it'll have your general settings, your response attendant, all kinds of good stuff in here. And you can look through each one of those. If you want to edit your page, you would click here. And you have all your edits you can do in here, everything from post reviews, videos, photos, about community. Post attributions. So this is how you're going to post. Are you going to post as the internet company? Or are you going to post as your personal page, John Smith? Probably your internet company. Right here is your notification. So when things happen with your business so that Facebook can notify you, you can turn these things on. Page mentions, reviews, comments, all these different things. Messages, get a notification when your page receives a message. Do you want that on or off? Emails, text. Okay, they also have a section here under Pages Assistant. And this is a new thing, and you can turn it on. And when you do, it's going to give you some other choices down here. When would you like Page Assistant to help you? And then you can put in here, if you click on this, afternoon, midday, morning, evening. How often would you like help from Page Assistant? And it'll just give you good tips and pointers as to what to do. It says here, Page Assistant is a bot that helps with managing and improving your page. So it's an automated type thing. Then your messenger platform is right here. You have your general settings right here, which are also right below here. And then you have your advanced messaging features, customer chat plugin, and your discover settings. Right here, you have your videos. You can create a live creative kit for your page right here. Then you have page roles. Now, page roles is like if you have any other people helping you with a page, what you can do is you can add their email here, and then you can decide, are they going to be an editor? An admin, of course, admin can do everything. Editor can edit. Maybe you want a moderator. Maybe you just have somebody who's going to be running ads for you. So they would be put in as an advertiser. You can also have an analyst or a live contributor. So you can add people to that. You can scroll down here and see who the existing roles are right now. John Smith, which is me. I'm an admin, so I'm the existing one. Okay, so from your page, you want to go to business.facebook.com. So we'll just type that in. While you're logged in, you got to be logged in. And then we're going to go over here and click create account. Set up your business account. And the name is internet company. And my name's already in here. And you want to put that email that you created the account with, which we're going to grab that. So I put that email in there. And now I'm logged in and I'm at my business manager. And as you can see, it says right here, internet company. Well, I spelled that wrong, but we're at the right place. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add that page that we made. Click right here to add page. And we're going to put in which one that is, which is this one right here we made earlier. We're going to click add page. So we're going to click add ad account. We're going to go right here to create ad account. And that ad account, we can call it business one. It's an internet company, right? And that's the company that's on behalf of that particular page. So we click create ad account. So right here, this is going to show your ad account number while it's creating it. Now, what we've noticed is sometimes when you add other people to this account, it gets stuck here. So I'm just going to skip this particular part. And it does show that it's been added. And I close out this window. Okay, so the next step after we've set up this account is we need to get our pixels set up. So you're going to click on these three lines right here. And we're going to go right on over under measure and report. We're going to click on pixels. And a pixel basically is something that you're going to put on your page so that when people land on that page it actually marks them okay and as long as they're logged into facebook and they visited your page they're going to have that pixel on them and we can use that for tracking later on we can use that for targeting so right down here you're going to have a big green button if you've never created a pixel you're going to click that button right there and we're going to leave the pixel name at internet company of course we misspelled company so let me fix that there we go and then it says here you can create up to 10 pixels with your business account. We're just going to create this one. And the different pixels would be for different niches that you're in. So we're going to assume we're just in one niche right now. It's now creating that Facebook pixel for us. So we've got one done. Now, 
if we were going to go right to, you know, setting the pixel on our page and all that, we would click on one of these and it would be manually installed. But we'll come back to that and we'll actually set up a post first. And if you want your instructions, you click right here and it'll give you all your instructions, which we just saw. So we're going to go back here now. Now, what I like to do is do all of my ads through a page post. So we're going to create a post and then we're going to use that post in an ad. Now, what this will do, the way we're doing it, is going to be called a dark post, so it won't really show up on our page, but it'll be a post that we can use in our ad. So we're going to click on page post here, and we're going to create a post. Make sure, you know, you may have a couple different companies. Make sure you got the right one here. We are an internet company, so we do have the right one. Sometimes it'll show other ones in here if you have other ones done. And we're going to create a post right here. And you have a choice when doing this. You can do a link. And all a link is, you're going to put the URL here, you're going to put the post text, and you're going to put if you're going to put a button or not. The next choice is carousel, which is a group of pictures. The next one is a photo, so you're going to put a photo here and your text. And the next one is a video. You're going to select a video, and you can do that by uploading right here, or if you already have one in your library, you can do it there. So we're going to go ahead and do a photo, and we'll do a simple one to start with. And we'll get in more detail on some of these a little later on. We'll upload an image and we drag and drop our image here. And we're going to use that same beautiful picture we've got here. So we'll put that one in. And then we're going to confirm that picture. And then we're going to write in here something. So this is my ad. And we'll get in more detail as to what you're going to write here and descriptions and all that stuff. But for right now, we're just going to put that in there just to show you how to do it. And then we're going to create a post. Now, once this post is created, it's going to create this post ID. So we want to grab this post ID now. And we just copy that. And you'll see why in just a second. We're going to copy that post ID. Then we can go back and we can actually create an ad. So we're going to come over here. We're going to go into our ads manager. And it gives you some information in here. You can click through and look at all that great information they have for you. And the first time you do this, it's going to give you all those little helper things. So let's go ahead and X out of that. Now, ads are divided into your account overview right here. So this is going to have everything you got going on. And then the next part, let me X these out here. Certainly read these. The next part is your campaign. Now, your campaign is going to be what you're trying to do. So, in this case here, let's assume we're trying to sell some survival food, okay? That would be your campaign. Your ad sets fall below your campaign, and your ad sets are where you select your audiences from, okay? So, you can only have your ad sets change audiences. Nothing else can change your audience. And then your last tab here is your ads. Those are the actual ads you're going to run. Okay, so we've got that set up for our ads, and we understand what all these tabs are and so forth. Uh, in the next training, we will get into actually posting ads in there and how to set your pixels and how to set your conversion codes and all that.